Hey everybody, my name is Karina, welcome back. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make delicious menudo. A lot of people were requesting menudo, and that's what I'm making today. So if you wanna see how I make it, keep watching. For this recipe, we're gonna start preparing the meat. In some water, I'm gonna add some baking soda and some salt. We're gonna soak the beef feet for at least 30 minutes. I'm using two pounds of beef feet. Next, I'm using five pounds of beef tripe and I'm going to add 2 thirds cups of lime juice. Four lime peels and we add some water. We're gonna let them soak for at least 30 minutes. This process is to eliminate the odor of the tripe. And so we have clean, fresh tripe. The feet have been soaking for about 40 minutes and now it's time to rinse them again. And we're gonna rinse them with cold water. We're gonna do the same for the tripe. We're gonna rinse it with water until the water comes out clear. I'm gonna cut the tripe into smaller pieces and as you're cutting them, try to get rid of some of the excess fat, like this. Okay, the tripe is now cut into smaller pieces and ready to go into the pot. I set my pot on medium high heat with six quarts of water. Now we're gonna add the feet and the tripe. I'm gonna cover it up and let the meat cook for about an hour and a half. It's been 20 minutes and I'm gonna check on the meat. This is a perfect time to check for impurities on the top and remove them. Now we're gonna add one whole onion, two garlic heads, four bay leaves, epazote strands, and salt to taste. We're gonna cover it back up and continue cooking. While we wait on the meat, we're gonna start working on our salsa. I'm gonna be toasting 15 chile guajillos. After a few seconds, we're gonna flip them because we don't want them to burn. We just want them to toast a little, just like this. After they're ready, we're gonna transfer them into a pot. And we're gonna do the same with two chiles anchos. I toasted them for about a minute on each side. They're now ready and I'm gonna put them in the pot. We're gonna add water until they're covered. I'm gonna set the heat to medium high and cook them for about 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and the chiles are now done. Turn them off and transfer them into the blender. I'm also gonna add some of the water from the chiles. One teaspoon of black pepper, salt to taste, and last, 12 garlic cloves. Oh, and I almost forgot a quarter of a white onion. Now we blend. And this is how you want your sauce to look. Our meat has been cooking for an hour and a half and it's now time to add the salsa. I'm gonna add the salsa and strain it. Once all the salsa is in, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of menudo mix. And this is also the perfect time to check to see if you need any more salt. Mine needs a little bit more. Give it a mix, cover it up, and continue cooking for another hour and a half. The meat has been cooking for a total of three hours, and it's now time to remove the garlic, the onion, and the epazote. Once that's done, I'm gonna add 110 ounces of pre-cooked hominy. Give it a mix. Cover it up and cook it for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes and our menudo is now ready. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Look at how delicious it looks. Now I'm gonna serve myself a bowl. I'm gonna add some onion and some cilantro. Now, the moment of truth. Um, we normally don't eat menudo rojo because my husband's sinaloense, so we always do menudo blanco. But I did put on my Instagram stories asking if everybody preferred um, the red one or the white one or vice versa, and everybody chose red. So that's why I went ahead and made red. So keep an eye out because menudo blanco is coming soon. Cheers. But it's equally as delicious, so good. And there you have it, delicious menudo rojo. Okay guys, that's it for this one. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you won't miss any of our new videos. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.